build because they just simply don't like it. Now, personally, I think it's more to it, but she's saying that that's the reason, right? Now, Delilah has a movement by the name of the Mural Movement, where they try to keep the names alive of minorities who are focusing specifically on black and brown culture going into black and brown communities. Now, when it comes to the King Von Mural, it was actually created by a guy by the name of Chris Devins. His Instagram is Chris underscore Devins, and his business page is Chris Devins Studio, all one word. Alright, now, initially the mural was created as a tribute to King Von's legacy in his neighborhood, and it was revealed on his actual birthday, which is August 9th. Alright, it's located in the heart of Old Block on Parkway Supermarket um, on 6435 South King Drive, Chicago. Now, Delilah and her team, they, they, they always like do their due diligence by always making sure the mural is neatly decorated with white candles. You know, she restock every now and then, drop them off. You know, making sure it's always in good condition, good shape, and looking well. And I must commend her on that because I know a lot of murals around New York. A lot of times, people just slap it on there. And after that, they're not involved with it anymore. They just put the mural up. They don't come. They don't decorate it. Uh, if it get vandalized, they just leave it. You know, sometimes they might they might restore it like once or twice, but that's it. And they leave it. It gets old. It gets corroded until somebody paints over it and then that's it now as it be, like it became like a tourist attraction we come to Chicago this King Ball mural and it was like a staple in the neighborhood in just short time and it also became somewhat of a target for old blocks ops making it easy for ops to catch innocent people as well as their targets trying to pose in front of the mural now since the mural been up, it's already been restored due to someone vandalizing it, and that was within the same week that it's been up. Now, Delilah Martinez, who's the organizer of making this all happen, came out via social media today saying that Chicago PD is threatening to have the mural removed because they just simply don't like it. Now, she says it means a lot to her because they serve areas that people normally wouldn't go to and put art there. So that's where her, her movement comes in and they serve neighborhoods with art, giving them a different outlook and fight hard to get it done in the area in the first place. Now, let's get down to, you know, the politics of everything and whatever, whatever. Uh, Delilah is saying that the cops just don't like it. Now, y'all know here at Hooper's Anonymous, I like to play devil's advocate. And it's easy just to side with her and say, yo, the cops are being foul. They just don't want it there because he's black and all this bullcrap, right? Because it's funny, I've actually seen in the comments where people are trying to play the race card and where people are saying that the cops are just hating on Obla. Now, matter of fact, oh, I even seen a comment where someone said the reason why the cops don't want it there is because Chicago PD has a lot of GDs. Now, <laughs> yo. That one right there takes the cake. I'm not even gonna lie. That one takes the cake. But my thing is this, y'all. Stop overthinking it for a second and really put things into perspective. And I gotta remember, the police are humans too and they have families to get back home to just like everyone else. And I must admit, I first thought that this King Von mural was a bad idea because I feel personally that ops will use it more as a target than anything. Right, they'll use it to catch somebody slipping and that'll put innocent kids' lives in danger, elderly lives in danger, and it'll just be a headache for police. As much as I think the mural is dope, I like the mural, I like the idea. Um, shout out to Delilah for putting it up and you know making it a thing in his neighborhood because I didn't think anybody else was gonna do that, for one. And maybe it's for this reason. Because let's be real, this is kind of like a safety issue, and I don't think the cops just don't like the mural, I think they just don't want to put up with the shootings that this might cause, with the with the, with the melee, with the ruckus. You see what I'm saying? You gotta put things like that into, uh, you know. Into... into consideration. Now, is it possible that the police just don't want it up there because of who King Von was before he was uh, famous? Possibly. It's, 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 I gotta remember, it's possible because 
King Wong was a demon, man. He wasn't no angel when he, uh, before he got famous. So at the end of the day, it could be possible that they just don't want it up there because of what he represents. Because now you got to think about it, right? Knowing King Vaughn, knowing his background, knowing his history, knowing what he rap about. If the average Chicago kid see his picture all on a mural or, or, you know, on a building being, you know, showcased, everybody going in front of it, everybody paying homage to it, you know, doing all that stuff, they going to think that that's the way to be. They're going to grow up and think that the way to be is like King Vaughn, be a demon, uh, be a killer. Be, you see what I'm saying? Because this is what he glorifies in his music. And now being a youngie growing up, they see this, they see everybody glorifying him, then they're going to think that's the way to be. Now that could be a little far-fetched too, but all this plays a part. It's not just that I feel that the cops just don't like uh, the mural. It's a dope mural. Shout out to Chris Devins, he did his thing. But at the same time, we got to take all these things into consideration, man. The cops have lives too. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds funny. Oh, you you taking, I'm not taking all the sides. But at the same time, I understand what's going on because I personally thought it was a bad idea from the beginning. And like I said, I think it's more of a safety concern than anything. And I'm sure that a few guys from O Block can actually agree with me. You see, I know they be on alert, high alert when they go in front of that wall. I know when they go to take pictures in front of the wall or take videos, I know they just not comfortable because they can't be. You never know who is going to pass by there. You know the ops are lingering 24-7. Matter of fact, they just shot up King Von's celebration on his B-Day. And if you know how O Block is designed, you can't even get into O Block. So, like I said, the people that's trying to attack them, they shooting randomly into a crowd just trying to get whoever they could get because they just trying to slide. And this is the type of tension that 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 mural brings. This is the type of tension that the whole O Block, the whole that whole aura, everything. That's what comes with it, man. And I think maybe this is the reason why the police actually don't want that mural up. I don't think it's and it's nothing that has to do with them just not liking him or not liking the mural. I think it's more so a, a safety concern. And I'm pretty sure anybody that's older and old block, like the, you know, the older gentlemen, the grandpops, the grandma, I'm pretty sure they agree with me. I'm pretty sure that there has been a lot of commotion since that mural has been up. I'm pretty sure that a lot of things has heightened as that mural been up. Because just think about it, right? If you want to catch somebody lacking, you know at the end of the day, somebody's going to be by that mural. You know, whether it's innocent or not, at the end of the day, if you are op, you're just trying to catch somebody and hoping that it's somebody big. I'm pretty sure they want to catch Muwap out there. I'm pretty sure they want to catch Boss Hop out there. I'm pretty sure they want to catch Dirk out there, especially. So if they go out there and they probably see a big crowd, what is it not to just... You know, what is it to them to just shoot into the crowd hoping that you hit somebody? Now that leaves innocent people's lives at stake, at risk. So, I, personally, I think, like I said, I love the idea. Delilah Martinez, I love the idea of what she did. I think it's dope that she's doing what she's doing. I think maybe she should find another place for it. I know having an O Block is definitely an ideal thing to do because he's from O Block. But it causes a concern. You know, if, if she can, have it somewhere posted, you know, downtown. Somewhere. Somewhere in where people from O Block don't have to be 24-7. Because now we're just making them a target. And you know, what's crazy, I don't even think that you can have it downtown. Because this is the thing about the murals, man. Ops know that people want to sit there and take videos. They want to take pictures. They want to be by the mural. They want to pay their respects. So they know that any given time, if they probably go there on, on King Ron's birthday or, or, or the day he was killed, they know that at the end of the day, somebody is going to be out there that they can catch. It's a no-brainer. It's almost like having a concert and your ops know the day you're going to be there or when you're going to be there where you're going to be. So you got to take that into consideration, man. I don't know where they're going to put it. Um, if the cops take it down, hopefully they don't. But like I said, it's... It's the yin and the yang, man. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you have it up there, it's going to become a, a place where ops is going to be circling. It's going to become a target. 
If you don't have it up there, I'm pretty sure people are going to raise hell if they take that mural down. But what do you rather? You rather people complaining or you rather body dropping? Alright? So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all think do y'all think the police just don't want the mural up? Or do y'all think that the mural serves more bad than good being there because of